In the latest earth-shattering news to break over the internet, Germany is to be represented at next year's Eurovision Song Contest by the singer Xavier Naidu. Now, in these times when multiculturalism is being talked about so much, it probably makes sense to have a man whose ethnic makeup includes German, South African, Indian and Irish. Unfortunately, large sections of the German media and Twitter sphere are a bit worried that Mr Naidu's reputation makes him a less than ideal choice. It was quite popular several years ago, at least among people who enjoy a sort of processed R&B sound with added schmaltz. But then, on New Year's Eve in 1992, he suddenly converted to Christianity. Now, that would have been fine if he hadn't also completely lost the plot. He's not the first Christian to become convinced that we're living in the end times, and I'm sure he won't be the last. But there can't be many Christians who are prepared to believe that the New Jerusalem is Mannheim. He did once get into hot water over allegations that one track on one of his albums was homophobic, to the point that the German Lesbian and Gay Federation attempted to get him prosecuted. On the other hand, earlier this year he did sign an open letter to Angela Merkel calling for equal marriage, so your guess is as good as mine. But perhaps the worst harm he inflicted on himself was when he repeatedly stated his belief that the 2 plus 4 agreement of 1990 is invalid and that therefore Germany is not a sovereign state but an occupied country. Sounds harmless enough, but it's a favourite theory among the extreme right. You know the sort of thing. Germany is nothing more than a vassal state of the USA. Germans must rise up and, you know, you get the idea. Oh, and last year he said that the official story about the 9-11 attacks was a lie. So a lot of Germans are unhappy about being represented by a man who may or may not be homophobic, is certainly a conspiracy theorist, and has in the past shared platforms with known anti-Semites. But I think of it in a different way. I don't believe that anybody's personal beliefs, no matter how wacky, should be a bar to them performing in a singing contest. I say, who takes the Eurovision Song Contest seriously? It's an annual competition in which European countries, plus Israel and for some bizarre reason Australia, compete against each other to see who has the best songwriter. That is to say, the best songwriter willing to write songs for the Eurovision Song Contest, which narrows the field down considerably. Don't get me wrong, it's great fun. We get to see a succession of ridiculous and flamboyant acts and take a drink every time we spot a wind machine. Then all the Slavic countries vote for each other, the UK comes last, and we reminisce about the good old days when it was won by ABBA. So Germany, relax. Send Xavier and I do and don't worry about it. The whole thing is a farce. And that makes him the ideal contestant. Remember, you can always send me a postcard at this address. You can also find me elsewhere on the web. Visit rubos.com to find out how. It seems that Earth must prepare for war. Mm -hmm.